I never felt as a musician, even though I've been working with music for now 30 years, I still struggle with thinking of myself as a musician. I, I'm still thinking I'm more of a visual artist working with sound. Of course, this is not important and it's just, you know, who cares? But it's, that's still my approach and that's, and that's how I experience sound. I experience sound in a visual way. It's, you know, different sound objects and how they are combined. I visualize it. I see things. I see it as, you know, as a room or as a, as a landscape or as, you know, as geography or as shapes uh, of combinations. It can be abstract. Uh, it can be just shapes or it can be something, um, something that's real. And, and that's how I, that's how I've always experienced sound and music and that's why it was natural for me to 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 work with sound because it was a lot easier to make something on my cassette tape recorder at home than to make a video or uh, even photography things like that it was just so immediate with sound and also that it had these associative abstract qualities especially with this type of music it's there's no blueprint for what you're supposed to to feel you know, I want, this, this, these are the sounds and the combinations of them that I enjoy. This is what triggers something in me. Um, but they're, they're, it's not dictated what it is. It doesn't, doesn't really matter what it means to me. I'm, I'm, um, I'm presenting it so that other people will have other experiences that are just as valid. That's, that's my approach. I start with finding what is the format, you know, what is it going to be a piece like I'm doing here, which is you know, played back and, and doing live diffusion, or is it going on a record, or is it going for, you know, a specific, um, you know, whatever the format is, that's, that's what I work with, because every format has its, its limitations, and that's what kind of defines its qualities also. So I, I, I find the frame, and then I'll just try to think about what is it, kind of um, feeling do I want to uh, convey what what, you know, what what would I like what is what is what am I going to do now and then I just start collecting sounds that face of it is not very critical and often it's just sitting there creating things and just making stuff and not really thinking about it too consciously just uh, putting stuff together, you know, filling, how do you say, filling the desk with, with elements, and then comes the, the compositional and editing, and then it's a, lot more, it's a lot more critical. And I start to look at these things and, and see how they, they, what qualities they have on their own and what qualities they have when they're combined with other elements. And it's just a back and forth, and then eventually you reach a point where you feel you've done as much as you can, and then it's done. This piece is called How to Avoid Ants, which is a kind of a strange, uh, strange title maybe. But the origin of that is uh, that it was during the, the Covid lockdown in the, in the spring of 2020. And I was at home uh, with my daughter and she was at that time uh, not in school, she was at, in kindergarten, or daycare as you say. And after a few weeks they moved, they opened up again the, 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 the daycare. And, they moved it into the, the forest because we were living quite near to the forest. So I would take her and she was five at the time and she at that time was very uh, concerned and afraid of, of ants and there was a lot of ants when we were going there. So, um, it be, but there were many ways to reach where they had the daycare in the forest. So we, every day we tried alternate routes. We tried to find different ways of, of avoiding these ants. And of course, there's no way you can avoid ants. So it was, it was, uh, it became also a sort of a game of of, uh, of um, distraction for me. And one of the things that I I uh, I, I did is that I asked her that uh, I need uh, I'd like the sound sound of, uh, of acorns that you know falling from the the trees that you find everywhere in the forest. So we would we 
I said we, we need to find the best sounding acorns. So we, we were looking all, every day for acorns that had sort of a crispy sound. And we collected them and, and I used them in the piece. So there's, there's a lot of sounds from, from that. Um, and it's also, a, you know, it's also kind of a metaphor that, of course, you can't avoid ants. They're there and they're necessary, but you can, you can uh, uh, distract yourself. And then that helps you find a way to, to, uh, to create a, a, a new variation of, of, the, of your music.